So this seemed like the type of game that you were kind of built to play in. Um, what did this game feel like for you? Um, just to be honest, another tough game. Like they beat us twice last year. We should sure ain't forget that. And coach was just telling us we got to master their intensity and come out playing harder than them. And we can't let nobody out tough us at home. So I just came out with the same intensity as always. How hard was it for both of you guys to match that intensity and to keep your composure and to handle the swings in that game and the fouls and everything that went into that? How hard was it to find a way to, to grind this one out? Uh, I mean, it wasn't hard for us. I mean, they beat us three times last year. Probably one of the reasons why we don't have a ring right now. So with that motivation coming to the game, we knew that we had to get this one. Over the month of January, a lot of talk was about Caleb and fouling out and, you know, other guys stepping up. And over these last few games, you guys, especially scoring wise, both of you have, have kind of found some consistency. What has happened that's allowed that to, to kind of happen on the offensive end for both of you? Uh, just knowing that with Caleb bottom me, somebody has to step up and fulfill that scoring role. Like you said, just Caleb's such a big part of our offense. And when that piece comes out, I mean, somebody else has to, uh, his shot, so that's what me, Lou, and the, our other teammates have been doing. Having Kyle back today, what did, kind of boost did that guy give you guys? Um, it was great because I know he was hungry to be back, so he didn't need too much motivation to come come in the game and give his all, so that, that also helped. And we just told him, come in, continue to play his game, and just play within the team, and he, he'll do good, he did. Luther, I think uh, uh, most people probably expected you to, to make your biggest impact for this team on the defensive end. Um, I'm wondering if, if what you've been able to contribute offensively and, and your shot making this year has been at a higher level maybe than, than you anticipated for your freshman year. Um, that's just come, coming to work every day, having great teammates like Andre, Keyshawn, CJ, all the guys that been been through this already, just pushing me every day and having confidence in me and me having confidence in myself. You think your offensive game maybe is a little underrated just because you, you do bring so much intensity on the defensive end of the floor? Yes, I'm going to definitely think my offense is underrated. <laughs> <laughs> Specifically, in your guys' mind, both of you, just what were the issues that Penn State was giving you guys with the three-quarter court? I guess it was a trap. I don't know. What... what what were they doing that was just at the end of the half it, you guys were really struggling to get the ball across half court and in that stretch let them get back into the game? Uh, I mean, they're long, athletic. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a good press. I mean, we really didn't uh, walk over it too much in practice, but we still should have handled it a lot better. But, uh, yeah, they're just long and athletic, and it kind of it jumped us. Just what's your overall feeling, I guess? Um, have you guys been thirsting for this kind of a, a, a tough win? I mean, the, the win on Saturday over Rutgers, you guys took care of things, but, but they really put you guys to the test here tonight. Just what's your thought coming out of this? Does this make you a better team to gut this game out the way that you did, or what do you think? I got it. <laughs> Uh, I got my answer with that. I don't uh, know. Just what, what's your thought coming out of this? It was just um, they definitely took us down to the Y, and I think this is going to help us for the future. Like this, what you this what you play the game for to be in tough games like this and high level games and intensity up the par and everyone coming out playing their hardest. So they definitely pushed us and put us to the test, and this most definitely going to help us for the future. Yeah, uh, Andre, how much work did Kyle actually get in before he he played tonight? Because he looked like he hasn't he didn't miss a beat. He had the big block at the end, and and then he had the layup. And I think he was on the floor like ten seconds when he had a a, a rebound. Yeah, I mean, I think well he started probably right after the game against Rutgers, yeah. so he just started this week. And when he said he was playing, I was like, you're playing. But, yeah, I mean, he came in, didn't miss a beat. I mean, he was still out there doing his job, rebounding, being uh, another key part of our defense with blocking shots and everything. So it was good to see. Do you remember any game last year where, when you won 25 of them, when you walked off the court and went, Phew, boy, we were lucky there. We, we, we had a really fight at the end. I'm sure you had quite a few of them last year. But any 
game like la like this last year where you walked off the court thinking it's a win we'll take it let's go home uh yeah i mean there's there's a few uh i don't i can't really remember off the top of my head right now but i'm pretty sure there's a few that we just we were happy to get it i mean anytime you get a win i mean we've been struggling lately so anytime we can just get a win and keep boosting our confidence we'll take it Luther, you talked about you know playing with more confidence in the last four or five games. It certainly has appeared that you have more on yourself. What's changed? Why? Uh, why have you kind of turned this corner here? Um, like I said before, it's just me coming to work every day and the older guys pushing me to be my best and come out playing my hardest. And if I make a mistake, it's okay. Next play. Do you consider yourself a big trash talker? After that three there late in the first half, it, uh, it appeared you had some some of that confidence coming out of you. Um, now that I'm at college, I don't really talk too much, but if you start it, I'm going to finish it. So, <laughs> <laughs> <Chill. laughs> Luther, what, what was it like going up uh, against Reeves? You guys had some pretty good battles tonight. Um, it was great. Like I'm a freshman. It's my first time playing at this level. And I'm I'm just very excited. Like I, I I want I want the test. I want the challenge. I want someone to push me to bring the best out of me every game. So it was it was a great experience. Andre, you knew you were going to take on more of a role this season. Um, to like a night like tonight where you have 15 and you're at the line with a couple seconds left to help ice the game. Is this the kind of season that the, these are the kind of games that you had envisioned when you thought to what your role was going to be this season? Oh, uh, definitely. I mean. Anytime you get an increased role, I mean, you just want the best. So just going to the line at that time is something that I wanted since pretty much I got here. So it was good to finally do that. Luther, is any of the aggressiveness you've started to play with just based on comfortability in the offense and just playing at this level? Uh, mo yeah, most definitely. Just playing within the team. It's not trying to go out go out your way to get a bucket. It's just playing within staying within the offense. You gotta just try to take it. Just making the right reads and just playing the right way. Playing good basketball. Is there anything your teammates are selling you like that has maybe changed from the beginning of the season on being more aggressive and looking for your shot a little bit more? Um no, it's nothing they really tell me. They just tell me if I'm open shoot, sometimes I pass up shots that I can I should take and I don't. So they just tell me to shoot the ball sometimes. Did you guys have to change anything as you were as the game was going on based on how the game was being officiated? Did you have to find yourselves playing differently or, or were you thinking about the whistles? Uh I mean uh yeah. I mean we just had to show our hands more. That's probably the biggest thing that Coach Holtman kind of talked about going into halftime and throughout the game was just showing your hands more. One or two more. Pen, uh, or Andre Penn State kind of I mean, you've been through it, the three losses. You've mentioned it, but I just, I guess, at halftime when they came back, those it was a three-point deficit. What was the conversation like? What does Penn State bring out of you guys? What do you, what do you expect it to bring out of you guys? Uh, I mean, they're a hard-playing team. I mean, anytime you play a team that's going to play hard like that, you got to bring it. So, I mean, it was fun, but at halftime, I mean, we weren't really concerned. We knew what would be. We were up thirteen, and we just had that little lull towards the end, and it was just turnovers. So we knew if we fixed that, that we could get it right back up. So we weren't really too worried. Luther, did you come in here thinking you would need to take a charge or something? You have your mouth guard here? <laughs> oh, nah. I just never took it out. We was excited. <laughs> in all seriousness, though, guys, um, Indiana coming up, uh, I know the record in this year and all, but to play – a team with their history and tradition. Uh, what's that mean to you guys, that opportunity coming up? Uh, it means a lot. Uh, they uh, beat Michigan State away, so that was a big win for them. And they play, they play hard. And, I mean, we beat them in double overtime last year, so I know they're, they've been waiting for this one, so we'll be ready.